the mountain top walk on water i got power feel so royal you one second i'm gonna strike this is the proto 87 stores throw bar and joint hinge combo has a pair of uh, plastic throw bars with uh, holes drilled in them to receive the actual metal throw bars which are the uh, upper four things here and the bottom is the hinges these are the hinges here and these these are the throw bars so let's come off just by rocking them off of the fret Leave the hinges on here for now until we're ready to put the points onto the closure. I have the pieces to my throw bar here with my turnout, and I'm going to test fit the plastic portions to make sure they fit between the head block ties and the next ties. This side fits fine. The head block ties don't quite fit. I'm going to need to file that down just a tad. This is the plastic portion of the throw bar. What I need to do is file it down. I can use a file or some sandpaper just to make it not so wide. I filed the turnout ties that I needed to. That's one in front of the head block. And it should fit in, the, in there and slide freely. A little bit of friction is okay and it should probably will help. Now I'm going to install the metal parts of the throw bars. I'm going to start with the rear throw bar. And this is the one that gets the hooks. So I'm going to put the metal portion of the hooked throw bar, the metal hook portion of the throw bar, into the plastic uh, throw bar with pre-drilled holes. Got a little dab of CA on the bottom. And when you're done, your rear throw bar looks like this. Uh, basically, the hooks are almost to the base, and these will hook into the holes and to the points. Set that aside and do the front one. Front one, same process, except for instead of using the hooked points or the hook throw bar portion, it uses the pointed portion. I'm going to take one last little step to prep my throw bars here. I don't want the uh, rear one to extend out beyond the ties. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to push it over to the long side to where the rail should end up. Probably about right there. And I'm gauging that by the little D shapes on the ties. That little D shape is where the edge of the rail is going to be covered by the rail. So I'll push it over there and I'll mark it and then I'll just clip that off and it's plastic so you can clip it with whatever you want.